Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I'm going to be covering a recent change to the Tablet Online setup where it requires you to know your site URI when you're logging in. Now, this didn't used to happen before. Previously, all you had to do was type your email into the login page and you'd see a list of Tablet Online sites that you had access to. If you only had one, it would skip you right through and give you the username and password and you just log in as normal. Now, this site URI, most people won't know what this is. I can just very quickly show you exactly what it is. The site URI is this part of the URL that I'm highlighting, this little bit here. This is actually a unique identifier for your Tableau online site. In Tableau server terms, think of this as the uh, site URL, essentially the URL that uh, denotes the site that you're on. But for Tableau online, because each online instance is its own site, you just essentially get this uh, little um, uh, sort of URL to parlance. That's why it says site here um, just before. And so essentially not many people actually know what this uh, part of the URL is for them. So I'm gonna show you how to find that very, very quickly in this video. You can see here I have a tab open and it's got the exact email that actually uh, was sent to me when I registered my tablet online site. And in this case, I've invited myself so that I can see what the email looks like. This is back from 2020. And you can see that the literal search term I did is I went into Google and I typed in online uh, mail.tableau.com space invited. And if you do that, I'll just do that again. You'll see that I have three invites. It finds just the invite because of that URL uh, is used specifically for invites. And then the header has a term invited three times. So those are the only three emails in my whole entire history of using Tableau. And it's actually pretty consistent. If I go back to this site, you can see all the other sites that I've successfully been invited to and I've been added onto as well. So two different emails, same search criteria. It narrows it right down. That's not the end of it though, because when you get to this page, you'll see that this is essentially the name of the site. But it turns this into a URI, you've got to remove all the hyphens because essentially the site URL is all lowercase and doesn't have any hyphens. So you can uh, copy that, go to the page that we were on here and paste it in, and then just go through and religiously remove any hyphens. The first time I did this, I actually didn't remove the capitalizations. I just put it all in, hit continue, and it figured it out and it sent me through to the password page anyway. I logged in and then it took me to the two-factor authentication uh, page and you can see everything's working swimmingly. So I'm now through, I can put my two-factor details in and we're happy days. So that is sort of one approach uh, to take and that is absolutely the way to do it. Now, I'm a bit of an automation uh, geek and I like to make sure that these things, especially if you look at this URL, look, I'm not going to remember what that is every single time. In this case, it's really, really long. Your organization might have something much simpler to remember, in which case, perfect. But if your organization doesn't have something easy to remember, I recommend you look into text replacement or text expansion as a way of remembering uh, those things without having sort of tedious things to type on the keyboard. Let me show you what text expansion does in my case. So text replacement can do exactly the same thing. I have this, uh, area here in Alfred. Alfred is a tool that I won't go too much into, but it essentially has a feature set that allows you to type a keyword and it will automatically expand the text to fill the snippet that you've given it. So here, if I type in T-O-T-T dev, it will give me the snippet, which is my Tableau online site. T-O stands for Tableau online. Everything under this Tableau online uh, moniker will start with T-O. T-T dev is the site that I'm on, Tableau Tim dev. And that is it, that's all it's gonna do. So if we just go back and we, uh, let's go back to my incognito session. Let's cancel this. Let's uh, completely go back and just go to online tableau.com let's assume that it didn't remember this whatsoever and we start again from scratch oh it's obviously knows my password so it's it's being it, it knows it knows that I've, I've already done this so this is rather frustrating let me close incognito mode again and open it that should have the effect of kicking everything out and giving me back into this particular place and look you can see here i'm actually using text expansion to say um look type in my email automatically paste the full email in for me. And here I'm just going to type in T-O-T-T -T dev, T-O-T-T -T dev. And as soon as I type that, it automatically pastes in the correct thing for me. And I don't have to remember this anymore. Now, in this particular case, oh, <laughs> I haven't actually copied the correct uh, URI. So we should actually grab that and go back in here and just adjust this. If we just go back in here, we can just paste the exact thing we need, hit save. Now that's gonna be correct every time I type it. So let's just type that again, T-O-T-T -T dev. And now that's automatically getting done. So I never have to remember it again. T-O-T-T -T dev is all I have to remember. 
and I can add other Tableau online sites to the end of that TO, TIL, TO, GSTC. These are all other online sites that I have access to, TO, I, and Viz. All these things can just be added to that list so I don't have to remember. Now, this is actually a good change because what you could have done in the past is you could have just taken anyone's email in the world, put it into Tableau online, and Tableau would learn with Tableau Online would sort of validate that user had access to Tableau Online. And then what you could do from there is you could do a little bit of social engineering to find out what site they were using. And then you could do a little bit more social engineering to um, spoof that person and let them know that, hey, um, you need to reset your password, do it over here. Send them an email that looks very official, looks like the Tableau Online email. Um, but then obviously you've got their details and then you can go in and do a bunch of other things. now. Two changes have been made. You can now do two-factor authentication. It's a requirement for Tableau Online as of February, so that should no longer be an issue. And secondly, you have to do this. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you found this video useful, share it with someone who might find it useful as well. We're at 25,000 subscribers. We're on a strong march to 50, so I'd really appreciate your help to try and get to that number. Most people who watch this video aren't actually subscribed, which is an amazing statistic that there's so many more people watching than those who are subscribed. But nonetheless, if we can grow that family, that would be absolutely great. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.